What's up guys MR. Newmobile here. We'll come back to your weekly Apple news starting to get really excited about the iPhone 12 launches just a few months away. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Getting a giddy feeling in my stomach in anticipation of holding that cold flat steel got a lot of iPhone. Today, including some exclusives with next wind back in recent weeks, are making things look a little bit more grim. Not quite the value we anticipated. Not quite all the features that we would have, but at least the box will look nice quick update for my formidable supporters, so we're almost on shipping the Rebel series pre-orders this long. I took that long and I wanted to talk about that because we use a completely different manufacturing process we call mold, almost no other case manufacturer does this, because of how expensive it is, that the end result is a much higher quality product. So we're now working accessories and abilities super cool things with your Rebel series cases, and post accessories for stating for that anyways thank you for helping us produce the highest quality cases on the market, these are based off of the cans we saw earlier, no new information can be gleaned from them regarding the camera layout for the notch sizing, but just feelings in your hand. The new sizing the amazing 5.4 inch feels so right it's smaller than the iPhone SE, but slightly larger than the old iPhone 5, and Macaroons has a really wonderful guide here on the sizing. The 6.1 inch slightly smaller than an iPhone 11 and 10, are sizing and the 6.7 inch, slightly larger than the current iPhone 11 Pro Max, and the flat sides are not as uncomfortable as I thought of actually seeing them in an almost finished model. Here are not so bad they don't dig into your palm as much as you think, but still not as conforming to your hand is, of course, a round edge on the iPhone 11 Pro Manchukuo is published a report detailing the contents of the box of this year's iPhone 12 models, and indeed there will be no coupons. As previously rumored, but there also be no power adapter that 20 watts power adapter which was leaked earlier that will be sold as an optional accessory. This will keep the cost down is the main intention, and to it'll reduce the waste. Over time Apple thinks that it's not box, and the price would be higher to reflect that Manchukuo expects the pricing of this year's iPhone still remain roughly the same as the iPhone 11 minor prices in the power adapter will also be removed from the iPhone. C2020 packaging unclear when this is referring to the 5 watts power adapter. So this seems to be a change that will be spreading to more devices over time, but so far the iPads are safe. As he says those will not be getting their power adapter removed as well, and Twitter leader left a dream. Also reporting that the power adapter and ear pads will not be included in the box, is reporting that there is another upside aside from the fact that price will go up and ask that the box will be thinner and exquisite on my, and Max Weinreich is reporting that it will be slightly thinner packaging, than current airports, packaging, and we actually have a look at the inner cutout, so the trade all the accessories will be sitting on this is potentially to be made out of paper press, is just the cabin may look plastic, but it's likely reflecting a paper press version you can see that there's a cutout for the USB cable, and likely the other square cutout will be for the packaging and little stickers, Apple would be minimi iPhone itself is overcome with absolutely nothing else. Max Weinreich is also confirming the same ear pads and power adapter are gone just the USB cable in the box, and he's speculating that it would make more sense for Apple to include a USB adapter, as more people have legacy charters around their home use BC power adapters are still not very prevail, and spend it's likely going to be use BC, as it matches up to their MacBooks and iPads, and following Apple's footsteps. 18. News reports that Samsung will be following the same cost-cutting measure to remove power adapters from the boxes of Samsung phones starting in 2021, despite the fact that Apple will be giving you less value in the box with the iPhone 12. Jeff, who in research note to Mac rumors is reporting that the price of the iPhone 12 will be going up by $50, so we can assume it will start at $749, as opposed to the starting price of the iPhone 11 right now. This would mean John Prosser's report for earlier starting price at 649 would be inaccurate, and in light of everything that's going on those days seem like very optimist claiming that not all iPhones this year will be 5G mm wave compatible, which means that we could see some foraging models with cheaper price tags, which would fall in line with the prices which John Prosser shared with us earlier, that could be a possible explanation, but it appears that yes the rumors were true, there will be two different variants of this year's iPhone, potentially some capable of millimeter wave 5G, and some only capable of some 6GHC, and display analyst Ross Young is once again saying 120Hz is not happening. On this year's iPhones due to his sources not being able to corroborate the fact that this technology is coming to the iPhone, couldn't find any evidence for it, and he's saying yeah, promotion is not happening in this year's iPhone. 
after speaking to Max Weinreich is basically saying the same things last week his internal source reported to him, saying that engineers reported to executives about the status of it, and most executives assumed it would be part of the iPhone, but the results aren't looking too good, and overall, the R&D cost would be too high there too many issues and the final decision was pushed back by a week, so we should know for sure this week, but as of now, regarding the but apparently 120 hertz, not happening guys that's it as upsetting as it is, it looks like Apple is going to wait until 2021 with the proper technology to do it right, and needs the LTP or backplane in that display, in order to make a true variable refresh rate display, like the one we have in the Apple Watch Series 5, even more upsetting after seeing the switch for disabling 120 hertz and some iPhone users, I was 14 builds likely about, but still that is it sad really expected this to be the year, but at least getting them boxy design and a massive camera. Also wanted to clarify the 4K 240 and 120 frames per second modes leader shared in last video that's destined for slow motion. Don't expect your iPhone to be able to shoot in those frame rates that's specifically for slow motion, although it's possible Apple could make 4K 120 work. Also, Max Weinreich emphasizes on the mass of a 14 change, think it's akin to the difference between the Apple 810 and Apple 11x huge transistor jump, as far as we know it's going from 8.5 million to 15 billion to be reserved for 2021 and beyond iPhones, but apparently forgetting that this year more lenses the clearer the picture and less chromatic aberration. Also this Twitter leader gives us a look at is how massive the iPhone 12 Pro Max lenses really are. There's huge they eclipsed the iPhone 11 provinces in our week we measured. I believe 5mm wider and diameter huge. Also this Twitter leader clarifies as to why we're not seeing any details on the lighter sensor, it's because Apple hasn't shared that information with these case makers and all this design right here. You are supposed to cover the lens. All speculation on their end and looking back at the iPhone 11 Pro CADs. The microphone was on the very right side and ended up not being there and the lens orientation was right. So your case maker do not cover the lengths because your design will likely be wrong, and iPhone 12 clones are already hitting the market, what a wonderful design now with 3 times the amount of fake lenses, and you already know we'll be reviewing this fairly soon. I love these. They're always a hoot. We heard earlier that the iPhone 12 might actually make its originally intended release now Nick now Nikkei Asian reviews, reporting that the final assembly is slated to happen in October, so it's possible Apple could still announce in September, but the delayed release will be sometime in October, potentially pushing into November. But things are looking more hopeful now than they were back in March 20 leader Apple rumors leaks, is reporting on the iPhone 13, sharing with us the intended features for this device, and all of them may make their way into the iPhone. 13 somebody pushed back, but apparently Apple is working on reverse wireless, charging that all screen display we heard about in Screen Touch ID, there will be a new camera system in the Apple E15, which will be 5nm by then, and the design of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has leaked. I quite like it. I like the design of that length with all the rings beneath a flat slab of glass, really like that bronze copper color is one you look really good on a knife, and we got an update on air power, and undersized wireless charters Apple is working on by recent Twitter leader is reporting that air power is destined only to be for one device. The branding name. The other smaller wireless charger been hearing about it still happening in proto still happening in prototyping stage right now, but it is happening and will work on iPhones, Apple Watch Air Park at any Apple accessory. The only one at a time and Manchukuo is reporting that for air pumps 3B using a system and package design on the actual actual stem pieces. Which leads me to believe the rumors have been hearing about that Air Park 3 will look very similar to airports, Pro may not be talking about that in earpiece at all, but maybe talking about the stem using system and package design, Apple could make the stem itself much shorter, and would eliminate that weird funky look, where it sticks out of your ear, so much so they could be the same in size as airports Pro, but still not have the noise cancellation aspect in ear design, an interesting week for back to, is reporting that Apple is indeed working on a replacement, that your parts is calling these trashy wireless airports, and building upon the we heard about earlier, where Apple might be building AirPark Lite to include future iPhone packaging, in order to entice you to get the full product in all AirPark Pros, AirPark 3s wherever rad at that point, but it's true Apple could be working on these, although they're very unlikely to ever reach the light of day, and an unknown Russian. Twitter leader is reporting on air tanks and their pricing. This is the first time here about it potentially Apple will be selling air tanks in packs of 3, 6 and 12, and then individually so for what the price of the $39 for a pack of $399. This guy is really guy is really not known to be a leader so they can one of the greatest salt also. I was 14. Public beta is now available. I would say why not go for it. 
Just be careful in how you install it back up your device and data to basically fix a lot of problems for me that I had made a one it's now very usable. And Manchukuo is reporting on a couple new iPads for one a 10.8 inch iPad later this year, which would replace the budget and model and an iPad mini with an 8.5 inch display, essentially all display the same frame as happening mid 2021, with Apple 21 adapter in the box. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.